I've interviewed thousands of nannies over the years, and these are some of the green flags that I look for when interviewing nannies. These are all things that great nannies do during an interview. If we haven't met before, I'm Michelle Kelsey, founder of The Nanny Solution by Nannies On Call. I create videos to help parents find great nannies and keep them for the long term. Let's jump right into it today. Number one, and always a super important one for me, is punctuality. Did the nanny arrive on time? Whether it's a virtual interview or an in-person interview, this is supposed to be putting their best foot forward. So if they're a minute or two minutes late, that is a red flag. Being on time is a green flag. I've heard of nannies arriving up to an hour in advance. That is also a red flag. It shows they don't understand the importance of time and your time and your ability to be ready when they arrive. So five minutes early is great. On time is perfect. Even one minute late, you're going to want to take note of that. Number two, being positive and upbeat during the interview. I interview a range of nannies. Some are super smiley and happy, and you can see that passion for childcare really come through. Others are just like this, and they say yes and no. And I just think, I don't wanna be around that person all day. If this is as much energy that they have, I want nothing to do with them. Picking a nanny that matches the energy, upbeat, happy personality that you're looking for in your home. Number three, detailed responses. I kind of just mentioned that in the last one. A red flag for me is when I ask a question to a nanny and they just give yes or no answer. If I say something like, do you have experience working with children under one? And they say, yes. And then I have to say, could you give me an example or when's the last time you worked with a child under one? You shouldn't have to do that during an any interview. Again, they should be putting their best foot forward. So you want to see something like, do you have experience working with children under one? And they say, yes, in my role in 2017, I worked with a child who was six month old and a child who was three years old. With the six month old, I was responsible for body feeding, introducing solids, diaper changing, whatever it is you, the nanny was responsible for, you want a full and complete answer, not just yes, no answers. That's going to show you that when you need to communicate with the nanny during the job, they are going to give you all of the information, not just say, how was the day? Good. You're going to want a detailed description of what happened in the day, and they're showing you at the interview stage whether they're capable of doing that or not. Number four, a passion for childcare. I can see nannies who light up when you ask them. One of the questions I like to ask nannies is, what do you love about working with children? Because nannies either light up or stay flat. So if they light up and say, I just love their innocence and they bring me joy every day, or it's hard to be upset when you work with children because they always are so happy or they bring light into my life. I've heard all of the answers and I love them all. And you can see that happiness and they smile when they talk about it. A nanny who doesn't have a passion for childcare or maybe burnt out is going to stay very flat and just say, it's my calling, or this is what I've always done. And there's no happiness there. So watch for if they have a passion for childcare. Number five, knowledge of child development. These are not questions I specifically ask during a nanny interview, but good nannies who have a knowledge of child development will explain it during the interview. When you ask a question like, can you describe a typical day at your last job? and they tell you things to do with a toddler that shows they understand child development, the activities they did with them, the games they played. When they're describing their past experience, you want to hear things like sensory play, gross motor skills, even their use of the words child development. That shows they understand and are aware of these skills that need to be brought to their position. Remember, the nanny you choose to hire will have a huge impact in your child's life. So take the time to make sure you're ticking green flag, green flag, green flag on all of the key things that you look for when hiring a nanny and make sure you get the right nanny that fits your family. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down below, like and subscribe so that you get future notifications of videos. Otherwise, we will see you soon.